channel then keep on watching so first I edit with iMovie and from iMovie I import all the memory into the computer and from there I just put it onto the iMovie from there I put all the clips in one by one into iMovie for to create and everything from there I do cuts in order to cut out all the pauses and all the ums and all the you know, in betweens from me saying things in order for it not to be so boring or for it just to be like, um, like, no. From there, I do some zoom ins and some zoom outs and some, you know, do all that crazy stuff and show you guys a little clip here in order to see how you guys could do it also. do for the text I do some of my favorites which the ones I'm showing you guys here which are the ones that I mostly use and then I also use like other random ones the ones that go best for the video all right guys so I had to change places because I was filming right in front of my window and there's some people working in the back of my yard and they're just looking at me and so weird all right so I keep getting interrupted but so for music I use a uh, non-copyright music from YouTube which they're like it's a whole channel and they have like a whole bunch of different music which are really cool I use save from dot net it's a website where you could just copy and paste the link from the video that you want just save it onto your computer and from there you could just transfer it to your iMovie and put, do it however you like. That's where I get my sound effects and my like little clips from like memes or little clips from other videos. <laughs> also, if you guys want to use filters to make it the same way that Aspen's videos, then you just get a video from Aspen's, download it onto your computer, put it on your computer like on the iMovie and put I believe it's color match It'll your video look the same as hers there's also a website 
for creators, for YouTubers that I've recently found. I'll put it right here in order for you guys to see it. When you want to do a intro for your videos, you just cut every little piece that are like funny, interesting, or pleasing and stuff that you want people to like look at and it's basically like a little preview of what your video is going to be about you just cut it and then you select all of them which I use command and then select it command select what you do is just put um, command C which is to copy and then go all the way to the front and put command V in order to paste it and then just cut out the parts that you don't need or that you don't want and then you just will put music on it I usually put that it's like a video recording and it says has like a little play or it has numbers on the bottom in order to make it look a little you know pleasing or cool so for my thumbnails I use Fonto, Disco, Lightroom, PixArt and the Fantasy which is fantasy is for you in order to look at different types of textiles and fonts and select them and then you're able to install them into your fonto and then from fonto that's where you create everything this girl you use for you put filters on it to edit it also lightroom and Pixar, I use it to make the white lines outline that you know you see in other YouTubers do that mostly is the Ace family that I've seen and they just outline the person or the main thing and then I just put it all into Fonto and then from Fonto I put and from Fonto I put the text and from there your thumbnail is ready so I hope this video is helpful for you guys, for you guys that are wanting to become YouTubers or want to make videos and are planning but just a little scared, just go for it and you guys will learn along the way. It's not like you just have to be perfect the first day and yeah, if you guys want to start a new channel, let us know down below. That way we can support you guys and follow you guys and you know, we could just have a supporting channel hope it was very informational and make sure to follow us in our social medias which i'll leave right here make sure to go watch our last video stay tuned for more videos on mondays wednesdays and fridays bye till next time